to each their own. But I think, if anything, I think it's pretty feminine to be, I don't know, threatened by a woman who does certain things for herself. Well, I've been threatened by a woman that does certain things. I never said you were. Well, I'm you speaking generally. That, but no man, no man, no man is. This is the thing, right? Women use these terms to put themselves higher, to, to make them, give them more like some self-worth. A man isn't concerned or insecure or any of these shaming terms that you want to use. I never use. used that, any of those words. What's the term you used? I didn't say insecure or anything like that. I said feminine. Okay, feminine. So a man isn't worried about a woman working on herself and making more money. It's the traits that it comes with it. Is That's what I'm saying. If I had a choice, uh, any, guy, any human being, yeah, be fully financially successful. But if you can maintain your femininity, great. But to say that it takes masculinity to do that makes no sense. I've dated masculine men who... Are were much more masculine than I and you know to be able to have a man what? who can lead and believes in you and you know helps you and you know still you know is the one who provides and you know sets the rules and the boundaries and what? you know have me be the submissive one like yeah. I can still have you know my own opinions and intelligence and my own goals and everything like that that, do that doesn't require masculine energy to be able to do that like if that's the case you might as well just date a blow up doll because the only thing you require them to be is pure well no mm -hmm. what are you talking about uh, I'll let you go a man go because um, a man who f flourishes in his masculinity he does not want to be with a female who's matching that energy because that's his job in a relationship. I if you can that. do all those things for yourself, then why do you need him? Because your job when you get with him is to let him be that way so that you can flourish in your femininity. And I agree with that, but my thing is is a man also does not want to be but with a bum bitch. that doesn't mean that you can't be like that. I know, that. and I, like but I said, I agree with that. But my thing is nobody wants to, to be with a bum. Just like right. a woman generally doesn't want to be with a bum man, but no man wants to be with a bum bitch. To to everybody no, 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 should no. be a fully no, 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 functioning no, 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 adult. But, that's part, totally of, but that's part of how you said that you can't be with somebody because of this, this, and this, if that's not how you are by yourself alone already, that's what it's important to you, My that you get is, there first by yourself before you depend yeah, on somebody else to do it for you. Yeah, but I'm not talking about financially or anything like that. I'm talking about having peace and happiness. Like, a lot of people right. say, like, oh, be my peace, be my happiness, and all that I'm right. saying is that's something that you should be able to fulfill for yourself. Right. You should be happy as an individual. You should right. be peace at peace as an individual. Just you should not rely on somebody is, else. That's called codependency. Mm -hmm. That's not being masculine or feminine. Right. That's being unhealthy and not being able to emotionally regulate yourself. Right, right, right. That has nothing right. to do with gender. Right. Oh, well, wrong. Men just, men, <laughs> totally wrong. men are supposed to be our almost like safe place for us to feel that way. Like yes. once we once we get with them, we kind of have to let go. Yes, and the men that I've dated mm -hmm. made me feel safe and I feel like when we're in a relationship, it's almost for. like we share all the emotions. We go from feeling that way with just ourselves to feeling that way in the content of our partner. Like for me, like I find peace within myself and I definitely don't have in minded being alone when I was alone or single when I didn't have somebody I was dating. But once I date somebody, I'm more than perfectly fine with letting down my guard and letting him fill in me those areas that I did for myself because that's his job I as mean, a man. I mean, yeah, as you should. Which is why you don't want to be in relationships with those men because they don't do that shit, which no, I agree with I didn't because say that. Men, are, men don't meet most needs. No, but. I've had, you know, very supportive relationships and honestly, like, the men that I've been with, like, have done a lot for me and I don't mean that in, like, a financial way, but I mean right. in, like, a personal way and a yeah. loving way like they are the ones who helped me learn to love myself because I you know yeah haven't yeah. always been so a confident person I get what you're saying but at the end of the day men and women are different and men Never are said attracted they weren't. to certain things and women are attracted to certain things you keep going on and on about like uh and, and I think you understand what I was saying and what I said yeah like it's more like oh I'm sorry I didn't want to no, like no, cut you off but I think what like you were saying is that you know like you weren't trying to like I mean, you did say she was masculine, but I feel like, you know, she... She is masculine. Well, I mean, what I mean is, like, I think what you were saying, though, more so is that, like, you know, at the end of the day, everyone has masculine energy and everyone has feminine energy within them. 
some people choose to be one more than the other. I don't have any feminine energy in me. <laughs> but <laughs> so I don't know what you talking about. Okay, I, I, I said most people. Most, most people yeah. do. Um, I feel like most people do. It's all subjective. I mean, it's also about it's the normal. traits. You know what I mean? Here's the thing. Like, I have masculine traits. I'm not a, I'm not afraid to admit that because, again, I'm a jewelry manager. Yeah. That well, requires ladies, I'm masculinity. I'm getting off the topic, right? But so, I, I so, think you were going more but off it's the what you, yeah. But it's what you choose but, but to this flourish is the thing. in. Right. This is a yeah. relationship right. podcast for a reason. Mm -hmm. You ladies want to be in a relationship. You're in a relationship. Kudos to you. You're good. But mm -hmm. you two ladies, right? You want to be in a relationship. So in order to be in a relationship, you have to understand the opposite sex and what the opposite sex I can make a phone call and be in a relationship right now. Right. You'll be in a relationship with a guy that you truly don't admire, love, and respect. No. That's like literally. So you have just, a guy A. No. As an option. No, that's you not don't what I'm have saying. A guy my a. point is, is like. No, no. So let me finish my point, right? Yeah. Because. You're not listening to understand. I'm listening to you. I've been listening to you this whole podcast and refuted every point you said. But listen to what so. I'm saying. All you ladies want to be in a relationship. That's the goal to life. God made Adam. And Eve, he didn't make Adam and said, freak Eve. No, he made Adam and Eve. We're supposed to be in relationships. We're supposed to have that connection. Uh, a, a relationship in a Fiction, family is okay. a good union. It's the most beautiful thing that's created, that, you know, that we can create. We literally, by having relationships, we can make copies of ourselves. It's beautiful. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the point of life that we're put on this world for is to procreate and have genuine relationships, men and women, right? So... In order to have a relationship for a woman, guess what? Men hold the key to relationships. So you have to understand what the man wants. You keep looking at it from a female's lens, and it's cool. You know, with it's 2023, you got the Democrats running everything. You got sexual liberation going on. You got all the stuff in the cartoons and on the TV that corrupts your mind. So I understand why you have this mental mind frame and why you're sticking with it. But the fact that you're a therapist and you don't know these basic different uh, intersexual dynamics between men and women is crazy because we're extremely Not different. What I said. In order for Never you to retain that. a man, you must acquiesce your behaviors to get that man that you want. You must act. That's what you must do. You said you can obtain men. Nobody sure, ever women said can I, do that, but you can't I never retain guys. You can't retain guys retain that you tr truly, genuinely love, respect, and admire. That's why you're single and you're 32 years old right now on a podcast talking no, to how many viewers. That's not got? it at all. How I think it's pathetic right that you don't understand that people can Gary choose Light. to be alone and be genuinely happy with what they have going on in their life. Like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry that other people oh, yeah. is your only source of fulfillment. 483 right now. We lit, man. It's the most we ever had. Thank you for tuning in. We, we about to wrap up, though. Uh, 